Both the Senate and Assembly passed their budgets, which include proposals to transition away from natural gas. Each has a different path. Capitol correspondent Jamie DeLine tells us what the state legislature and the governor would like to see when it comes to clean energy. Governor Kathy Hochul supports the Affordable Gas Transition Act and getting rid of the 100-foot rule, which requires those living 100 feet of a gas line to have natural gas hookups. The Assembly didn't include this in its budget, but is looking into it. The Senate supports the New York Heat Act, which includes eliminating the 100-foot rule, but also makes sure utility companies don't continue to raise their rates. We have a piece of the act that says that your rates cannot be more than 6% of your income before kicking in some affordability assistance to you so that you are not literally making the decision between paying your utility bill, feeding your family, or paying your rent. On Wednesday at the Capitol, environmental advocates called on the governor and the assembly to pass the New York Heat Act. However, not everyone is on board with it. The New York Heat Act, is, from a legislative perspective, is, in my opinion, a dangerous piece of legislation which is designed to dismantle uh, the, the natural gas infrastructure supply and delivery system, the affordable and reliable natural gas infrastructure system. The governor wants a finalized state budget by the end of the month. Reporting in Albany, I'm Jamie DeLine. There are many ways to measure the economy. Some lag behind the real figures.